This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sake Co. What's up guys? This is Coach Donnie from Elevate Yourself, where we change lives through volleyball, training, and inspirational content. In this video, I'll be reacting to Kuroko's basketball anime and analyzing the artwork, sports movements, and discussing the life lessons from the story. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a volleyball coach, personal trainer, semi-professional athlete, and I studied animation and illustration in college. I've already reacted to all four seasons of Haikyuu, so make sure you watch all of those videos linked in the description below. Thank you to all of you who voted on which anime that I should react to next. I was debating whether or not I should react to another anime that's not volleyball related since my channel is mainly a volleyball channel. But the main theme of Elevate Yourself is exactly that. Elevate yourself as a whole and not just as a volleyball player. There are so many life lessons that we can learn from a good sports anime and my passion as a volleyball coach has always been to inspire and to educate people through stories and education. I know some of you warned me that this is not a realistic sports anime, which I'm actually okay with as long as the artwork, action, and storyline are interesting. I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z and Street Fighter Alpha fan, so I don't mind a few fireballs and supercharging. Ah! Lastly, special thanks to my video editor, Raphael, for suggesting several great sports animes to watch and doing a great job with the reaction videos. Now let's get this Kuroko party started. Man, already menacing music. The minor key in the piano. The generation of five prodigies. Is that a coach? wonder who that female character is. She looks like she's holding a clipboard. Is that supposed to be like a team manager, kind of like a Shimizu from Karusuno? Yeah, you do get those generation of special athletes all in one group, and that's, that's something you gotta take advantage of as a coach. Oh, the sixth man player. Alright, intro time. The cool music, the cool animations. And we, we gotta analyze this sweat here. You guys gotta understand how hard it is to animate realistic sweat. Not only does it have to fall down, but it has to fall at an angle that's convincing because you want it to fall kind of at an angle and then downward to show the contour of the face here. And on top of that, because water is organic and it's moving fluidly, the edge of the sweat can't just be straight lines. Otherwise it will look like snot, like a piece of snot coming down. So to make something look like sweat is really hard. And then how to color sweat, if you guys notice we zoom in here, the color of sweat is a slightly darker version of the skin tone but the tear is see-through so you have to make it look like you can see the skin underneath you make it too dark then it just looks like chocolate sauce coming down the face and i love how they added the sweat on the chin here like it's going to meet and then go down the jaw and then drip down i think that's what's going to happen yeah that's cool how the sweat comes together so we already know the animation is pretty decent so far Ooh, those panning ones that's 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 always hard to do you see how his eyes are moving like he's tracking the defense of the players Ooh, okay we got some food you know I love my food animation scenes all right the jogging animations here are pretty weak Probably because they're focused more on the panning of this beautiful illustration in the back here. But whenever you're animating jogging, remember the body has to bounce up and down, the shoulders have to go up and down. You don't want these little twig legs just moving here. You see how kind of the twig legs, I mean they are bobbing up and down, but it's not an, a good running cycle. The arms aren't cycling with the legs. Some cool lighting. Of course, the fixing the glasses anime style. Ooh, that was a good fadeaway shot. They definitely have the body postures of basketball 
Here's an interesting backstory for myself. Before I actually played volleyball, I was hardcore into basketball, like played four or five times a day, or not a day, four, time, four or five times a week. I trained on my own, I did layups, I did workouts and cones. And the only reason why I actually started playing volleyball is because I got cut from the freshman basketball team at my high school because I just was never really that athletic. But I still love to watch the game, I analyze it, I, I train basketball athletes. So I feel like I understand the basketball mechanics pretty well. This arm here on number 10, this left arm here is a little bit short. Even if you're trying to show that the elbow's higher, you gotta draw a little crease and some shadow in the forearm to show that it's going back in space. So when you do have a shortened limb, they know that it's receding back in space and not just a short limb there. Kinda looks like a, a lobster leg. Peace. A lot of scanning eyes in this one. I wonder if that's part of the style from this. But it's super fluid. I, I do like sports animated movements. It's so hard to do. Much harder than fighting, by the way, in my opinion. I've, I've animated both. Oh, alley-oop. Slam dunk. The main character, that must be Kuroko, the blue hair guy and cherry blossoms one of the best most beautiful aspects of Japan and cherry blossom festivals they're probably recruiting right now for their high school clubs so is it a, another story of a struggling club looking to become a better club? This, is this Kuroko? Blue hair? Hard to miss? <laughs> Literature club? That is true. If my kid's gonna read anything, at least he's gonna read manga. Even if he's not going to get into all the science books, reading something is still better than reading nothing. My guess is that Kuroko is a really good basketball player and he's trying not to act too interested. Oh, and having a tall person, of course, is a nice bonus. What club is this? I wonder if the sports seasons are similar to volleyball where you have all these national tournaments every season. Well, animation is pretty good so far. Fluid, good body movement, good perspective. Pers perspective is probably the most challenging part. Oh, the tall guy. We talk about perspective there. Having that upward angle where you're looking up at somebody is actually pretty hard to do. One thing I would have changed about this one is I would have drawn a little bit more shadow under the chin because it kind of looks like he's looking forward but then from an elevated perspective. Now the nose is, is good, right? You want to be able to see the nostrils completely and the eyes on top should be a little more rounded, okay? but maybe a little bit more, like the chin should be a little bit shorter to show the underside just to get more of that steep view, but everything else is pretty good. I can't tell if this guy is a jerk or just being very direct. And if he's a first year, Well, what is he doing with the other guy? Why is he just holding him? Wow, this is a brand new school. Club sign up for Boys Basketball Club Kagami Taiga. You don't have okay, so the that rectangle is to show why he's joining. He just wants to play. Get some free water. 
に女バスケなんてどこも一緒だろう Oh, trick shot already into the. Okay, let's go to that. That head turn. Small detail. If you look at her, she's looking down at the garbage can and then rotating her head up to look. They could have easily just simplified that rotation just to do this, but you can't see the garbage can. You can't see where he is, but where she's looking implies where those two objects are in that. Is the detail I love. You see how she's looking there and then she kind of rotates her head up, like kind of like a, a surprise look. You always want to exaggerate things a little bit more when you're an doing animation to, to convince the viewer of what's going on. You don't want things to be too subtle. Down, blink, and then up. <laughs> They have the same <laughs> sound. There's another tall guy. Agami Taiga. From the source, what's that? Oh, it's from that guy. Kuro oh. Is Kuroko the guy that was laying down on the table? Teiko Middle School. Is that the talented? Is that the talented club? Must be. The generation of miracles. I just had a crazy idea that I didn't want to forget. What if they did an anime crossover where they had like a multi sports tournament where you feature the Haikyuu volleyball top teams and then the Kuroko top teams and just do some crossover where they interact with each other and maybe they play each other's sports? I think that would be pretty cool. Golden Egg's face? What is a golden egg face? Ah, blue hair, blue eyes. That's an interesting look. Look at everyone's facial expressions. You got some people got sleepy eyes, some people have calm eyes, some people have like a curious eye, but the guy in red, man, that guy's eyes are fiery. Look at that. He's just intense. You need those people on your team. And then we have Tanaka, gray haired Tanaka. That must be some. <laughs> If only she were sexier. That must be some fetish in Japanese boy culture. Oh, the club coach. Takeda sensei? That kind of looks like him. Is it just me or is that. Come on. The same hair com coming down. All we need is some black glasses. Maybe this is just an older version of Takeda. Interesting. Takeda sensei. I have some affection every time I say that. I like that, she's kind of badass already, even though she's wearing the Japanese school uniform. Man, she means business. She's calling people out. I like her already. Sports trainer. That's cool. I'm so lucky she got to grow up in that atmosphere. Yeah, that's, that's all coaches. You just evaluate mechanics. You know what's funny? I never understood that about myself until my wife pointed it out to me. She sees me just staring at bodies sometimes. She's like, what are you thinking about? Or what are you looking at? And she knows I'm not staring at them in like a perverted way, but I'm literally analyzing like what potential does that body type have? Longer torso, shorter limbs, more developed glute. Look, what does the hamstring look like? I just, I'm just always thinking about that. I don't know why it's not conscious, but I could totally relate to this. 
I am evaluating athletic ability. Let's see what she thinks of this fiery guy. Six pack already, pecs. <laughs> it's a mixture of numbers and, uh, and affection. I wonder what school he came from. Kagami. Kuroko, when are we going to see him? That's not good, not showing up to the first practice. Oh, that's him. What? It came out of nowhere. Interesting. Maybe his skill of being sneaky. Maybe that's a skill. But why should scream like that? He couldn't have been a regular. What does that mean? Oh, and like maybe they don't remember him from. Oh, he's the sixth man. Aha. That's why I don't remember him. I think it's interesting that Japanese schools put so much emphasis on like talented middle schools. It's the complete opposite for America. It's like all about the high schools. Middle school doesn't even count. Let's see what his body looks like. Ah, they didn't even show it, of course. What a teaser. Okay, we got some... Ah, so we got the classic story of a subpar person overcoming the odds. I already like the story. It never gets old, that underdog story. Alright, so Anna, let's look at that swish animation here. Even as the basketball is going into the basket, the shadow on the net is changing with the basketball. That's so hard. Think about how tedious that is to color like each different strand from the net and then to animate it moving down and then to have the shadow of the net swoosh with the ball. I mean, it's hard enough if you just drew white lines to have like a, a convincing swoosh animation, but to have the, the shadows animating with the movement, man, that's hard. That probably took forever just to do that one. Oh, why do you feel off? That's interesting. Oh yeah, Kuroko has small hands, look at that. So either that's one of his qualities, like his really small hands, or this is just not very good animation work. Because you see how his hand is like smaller than his wrist, and that's anatomically very, very rare unless you have some type of abnormal body proportions but the hand should be at least one third of the basketball. Now it's time for our halftime snack time from our video sponsors, Tokyo Treat and Sakurako, which is a monthly subscription service where you receive a variety of authentic Japanese snacks delivered straight to your door every month. We'll first start with a more modern selection of Japanese snacks from Tokyo Treat. <laughs> this month's Tokyo Treat theme is Santa's Snack Fest. We're celebrating the most wonderful time of the year with a Christmas limited edition box design. We'd like to bring you a taste of what Christmas is like in Japan with this Santa's Snack Fest box. Enjoy the Kit Kat milk tea, Pocky winter caramel, Tongari Christmas corn chips, and many more. Christmas time is coming up and I've been craving something salty so this looks like a good fit. Definitely got that corn salty flavor. It looks like bugles. Is this bugles? No, it says house. Maybe that says bugle. See how it tastes. Lightly salted, strong corn flavor, very similar to a bugle. Definitely hits the spot, exactly what I was craving today. I'm telling you, I'm in a salty mood and I chose this cheese snack. I was fascinated with how Asians interpret cheese because cheese is not native to majority of Asia. So I'm really curious how this tastes. 
Let's see if it smells cheesy. Ooh, very cheesy. Ooh, that is good. It's not just like a, a cheddar powder strong cheese, but it's got like a little creamy cheese inside, like a brie. At first I thought, man, there's not that much in here. But I see why, because this is on the stronger side and very delicious. What happens when we combine forces? We got a lightly salted corn snack with a rich cheese snack. Just felt like they would go well together. Now we'll sample some snacks from a more traditional selection from Sakura Co. Like I said, I'm just in a salty mood today, probably because I drank two milk teas. We'll check out some of these peanuts. Got a little handful. Definitely got the high quality peanut flavor, a little bit of glaze, so a slight sweetness, but I did not expect the hint of spiciness, which has been a nice touch for this one. Don't know what this says, but it looks pretty salty to me. Cannot wait to bite into this one. I feel like it's gonna get a little messy. Just a solid classic rice cracker. If you wanna enjoy your own authentic Japanese snacks from Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co., use my discount code and link in the description box to get $5 off your first order. And for every order that you place, I receive a small commission that helps support the channel. Not only do you get to enjoy some tasty Japanese snacks while watching anime with me, but you also help grow Elevate Yourself. This month's Sakura Ko theme is Tochigi Tradition. We're partnering with the Tochigi local government, a Japanese prefecture that is famous for its breathtaking mountains and waterfalls, and you can find over 600 onsens to keep you warm especially during this winter season in Japan. We would like to invite you to try Tochigi's local delicacies like Tochigi Lemon Yokan and Tochigi's specialty sweet Strawberry Tiramisu Biscuit. All snacks pair well with special sencha tea. This month's kitchenware is Firoshiki, a wrapping cloth. And his hand's like a quarter of his face. So he is the sneaky one. And I like that he's a six man too, like unseen. But let me guess, he's not intimidated by anybody. Is this the Hinata meets Kakeyama moment? I've been appalled. Uh -huh. that, that's true, I mean, when you play in America, basketball is a pretty big sport, so the level is going to be much higher than almost any other country. Oh, the wind, like they're gonna go into some samurai sword fight. Uh -huh, I like that he does not sense weakness from him, even though he looks weak. This is this is pretty interesting. Oh, shadows in the eyes, getting serious. Oh, one on one, we get our first taste. One on one. Oh, this is so cool. I'm actually, looking forward to this one. This is like a halftime show with the fat bird. Nah, not this time. Sorry if I'm making all these Haikyuu references, that's just the most recent anime I've watched. Man, this music is getting intense. Oh. Did he just strip it? Oh, hey, you're destroying him. <laughs> Oh, I thought that was going to be much more exciting. Oh, unless he's tricking him to let us guard down and then he's going to come back and kill him. Now he's going to turn it on. Come on. Oh, 
Ah, okay. He's probably spending that time observing his movements, seeing what he does. Interesting. Come on, play him. I want to see Kuroko's abilities. You know, this guy's he just seems Let me finish and see what see what he says. Okay. He might seem like a mean guy, but it's very similar to Kagiyama where he's got one goal. He's trying to play at the highest level possible and he's gonna be honest with people. And here he's just being direct, probably could say it in a nicer way. You can always make the argument. But he's not being deceitful, he's not being a douchebag. I think he's just thinking like, is this going to be my teammate? Or how are you going to help me accomplish my goal of being a champion? And he's actually trying to be helpful in his way, like in a way he knows how. Like you should quit basketball because you actually don't have any skills. And don't fool yourself, you know? I always got those philosopher types. Oh, water and fire. Red hair, blue hair. He is a shadow being sneaky. Better see some skills soon. Maybe it's going to finally show up in practice. Maybe he's going to use the knowledge from studying him and then come back and play him and beat him in practice. Who are these guys? Like the adult team? Yeah, Kuroko stands out a lot with that blue hair. These are really interesting proportions. In my opinion, they're off to the point of being distracting. I understand that people want to have more of a style, but man, these heads are really small in comparison to the body. If you're going to make a small head, then you got to make a tiny waist to complement that. Kind of like what the, the coach has. But a lot of these players, they have a really small head, short arms, wide hips. Just kind of looks, they don't look athletic. They kind of look heavy. You want them to look athletic. You can have long, flowy limbs, but you got to make sure they match properly so that they look like a sport. Look like, I mean, look how small their feet are. Right? Athletes, generally, you want to have larger feet to make them look like they're, they, they're capable of something. Ooh, that was a nice shot. Let's watch that again. The jump ball, kind of going up in the air. Slam dunk. Oh, right from the get-go, with the stare down. Is he hanging or standing? Okay, he's hanging. I like that. Another dunk? Damn, this guy's just jamming on them. Oh, the first. Okay, these are all second years. Okay. How's he the sixth man? <laughs> the, the fact that he's still on the team, though. I like that. Oh, block. Alright, this is where we got to improve the animation a little bit. Part of studying animation is recording yourself trying to act out the movements. And if you really blow into a whistle, to generate any type of noise, you actually have to blow it with sufficient air, meaning your cheeks will puff up. So even though it's not the loudest whistle, even if it's a small tweet, the cheeks should puff up just a little bit more. Right now, the only the lips move, which doesn't feel very realistic. Like it just makes it look like she's sucking a popsicle. Ooh, the second years are gonna get some, put some fight in them. Triple team, 
fighting for position. I like that, that the second year is, oh man, dude. I feel like they put all the money into the swish an the swish anim- Okay, I think that was CG, that's why. Maybe all the net animations are CG because they're just so hard to do manually because I just look a little too perfect and clean. Let me guess, Kuroko is going to be the one that never gives up. <laughs> I like that Kuroko is not afraid to to speak up. Not afraid. I really hope Kuroko does something decent soon. I'm, I'm starting to lose a little patience, but I think that's part of the point. Ooh, okay, a little bit of magic going on. Oh, maybe that's a skill, is to be sneaky and to change the direction of the ball. Like some... Telepathic, not telepathic, where you can control movements with your mind. Ooh, at least, okay. So this says something about, I think his name is Kagami's character. Even though he's hyper aggressive and like really intense and some people can misinterpret that as being mean. Some people are just really competitive, but here he just wants to win. Because now he sees his teammate be open and he's telling him to shoot the ball. Versus saying, give me the ball. So, he understands that you gotta win. Okay, yeah, those net animations are definitely CG. Through the legs. Interesting, so he's passing with his mind. Maybe he's got some Tai Chi stuff going. Did he even touch it? Oh! He's using his lack of presence to pass. Okay, to maybe be sneaky. Like maybe some Tai Chi, like flow of the ball. Miss the direction. Oh, just sneaky. Okay, so maybe one on one, he's not going to be destroying people. I, I, she's a good coach because then she she is able to observe and catch all this diversion. He's the invisible regular of Taiko Excel passing. Okay, so he did have a reputation and he did contribute, not just some some random person that was on the team. Oh, okay. There's a real person like this named Jason Williams. No joke, you guys should look him up. He's like one of the the best passers ever to touch a basketball. Jason Williams, nicknamed White Chocolate, played back in the 90s, early 2000s, but I wonder if he's the one that inspired Kuroko. Cause Magic Johnson was probably the first flashy one to do like a no look pass and make it mainstream, but Jason Williams took passing to another level. Like misdirection, all that stuff. I like how the camera's shaking up and down as oh and he gets a block? Is he actually gonna score a point? Does he have the physical skills to do it? No! <laughs> so maybe But he had a little smirk. He probably knows that that's not his strength. Okay, I felt myself rooting for Kuroko. <laughs> There's always somebody in these animes that just has a huge appetite. Goku, Hinata, Ryu, and now, is it Kagami? 
<laughs> he snuck up on him. <laughs> kind of like that about him. It's a funny quality. He definitely has this quiet confidence about him. <laughs> That's funny. Well, he is in high school at the end of the day. Ooh, he's got a chain for a necklace. Oh, what a nice guy. But he recognizes efforts and he gave him an MJ burger. I wonder if that's a real restaurant in Japan. <laughs> Speaking truth. That's going to be fascinating. That's where the rivalry is going to come in when each of the generation of miracles play against each other. I wonder why they didn't all go to the same school and just continue to dominate. Yeah, true competitors get excited about better competition, not intimidated. <laughs> He kind of reminds me of the captain. Sorry if I'm. Let me know if it's annoying if I make too many Haikyuu references. Actually, too bad. That's just how I think, and that's the only comparison I have for another sports anime. But his demeanor reminds me of. Gosh, which team lost in the semifinals to Karasuno? The captain that doesn't start with the gray hair. He kind of has that blank, calm look in his eyes, and just says just the right amount like doesn't say too many things and when he does say something is always wise and, and insightful but he's also not intimidated by other people he just is who he is which is one of the hardest things to do especially in high school reach their feet interesting uh, it's a team sport that's right that's another huge life lesson we're going to learn from this anime i bet the stronger the light, the darker the shadow. Let's think about that. What does he mean by that? The stronger the light, the darker the shadow, and the more it accentuates the brightness of the light, which is true. I mean, those are art principles, contrast. If you want something to stand out more, you darken the, the whatever's underneath or the background, and it does two things. It helps separate those two values so that whatever you're trying to lighten up comes forward even more so maybe he's hinting or the the story's hinting that kuroko is going to be a darker shadow as kagami i hope if i'm getting his name wrong sorry the bigger basketball player is going to allow him to shine even more kind of like the moon and the sun Oh, did that just happen as a car was driving by to illustrate that that phrase? Look at this. Uh-huh, deepening the shadows on the face. Look at that, just as they're talking, a car just happens to drive by to brighten the aspects of his face and chisel out the shadows here. I will be the shadow to your light. He knows his role. Ooh. He's flattered. He's flattered, but doesn't want to admit it. Now it's time for the outro music. It's always fun seeing what the intros and outros are, unless they have teasers that spoil the, the next episode. But usually they save the best animations for the outros and intros. Okay, so we got a series of still images with these CG graphics of the basketball court. Not a fan of the, the music here, but maybe it might grow on me as I develop more of an affection for this animation. Dude, that guy's just always fixing his glasses. He's either here, fixing it here. I mean, maybe next scene he's gonna be fix it here or he's gonna do one of these. We'll call him the, the eyeglass fixer.
But they all do they all have different colored hair? Oh, those those have to be the, the other talented players. Ooh, I like this change up in the animation, the thicker, bigger bodies. I do like this part of the song. I wonder if Kuroko continue, continues to... I wonder if he's going to continue to be the sixth man on this high school team. There, we see how important they both are, the shadow and the light. So interesting that they have a female coach. The basketball which Kuroko plays so maybe emphasizing the style here's my immediate reaction to episode one i think it's only one season like maybe 75 episodes from what i saw in the crunchy roll but it was actually more entertaining than i thought i got into it pretty early i think the pace of the storytelling was pretty good i did get a little anxious with kuroko because i thought we we're probably gonna have to wait like two or three episodes before we saw some of his skill but i think if they say that until episode two and three, it's very easy for viewers to lose interest because you wonder, well, what the heck can Kuroko do? Is he just gonna get beat up this whole time? So you get a little teaser of what's gonna happen. Now for a pilot episode, I thought there was gonna be more action and that's usually what happens when people are trying to hook people into the anime. I do like both characters. I'm not annoyed of them. I think they have, they're both kind of honest versions of themselves and they're not trying to be like Suki from Haikyuu where there, there's a wall or they're trying too hard to be something that they're not. Um, so I do like the quality of the characters and the personalities already. And the coach reminds me of myself, just analyzing players' body types and just always having that coaching mindset. So I'm excited to watch episode two to see what happens and I think there's gonna be a little bit more action. But so far, the fluidity of movement of basketball it's, it's been enjoyable to watch, and I do think the animation quality for this one is actually a little bit better than Haikyuu. Maybe because it's a newer anime? I don't know. If you've been enjoying my reaction videos, please consider supporting Elevate Yourself by signing up for our Patreon, where you receive access to exclusive content, like early access to my videos, my private blog, behind the scenes footage. You can also leave a super thanks comment below, or you can like the video and share it with all of your anime friends.